about to discover the live chat. You're going to get a quick little overview of the live chat feature. Now, all you need to do in order to reach live chat on your page is to go to this cogwheel right there, click on it, and then click on dashboard. This redirects you to the dashboard of your page. And in the left, on the side right here, you can see the live chat icon. Now, and what you can see right here is a red notification bubble. This means that there are active chats right now going on. Now, in order to navigate to live chat, it's very simple. All you need to do is click on the icon. This redirects you to the live chat page and this is how it looks like. Obviously, this is how it looks like if the page is already active and has active subscribers actively chatting with your page. However, if this is the first time setting up your chatbot and you don't have any subscribers yet, it would more or less look the same. However, there is no active subscribers, no active chat going on and there's no user profile here on the right. With that said, let me just go over the live chat screen really quick quickly right here. On the left side, you can see your active chats and this is uh, where you can actually see the subscribers you have an active chat with. These are currently all people from the Clever Messenger team that I have asked uh, to uh, reach out to this particular page and just uh, say hello or something. Uh, we can see uh, right there, hello. We can see another hello right there, etc., etc. Uh, this to fill up the live chat a little bit for you guys here watching this demo. Um, yeah, so right here we have the open chats right here and in the bottom of the chat, you can actually see that it states this subscriber is active, you are allowed to send promotional messages. Now, this is a policy from Facebook where you are only allowed to send promotional content within the last 24 hours a subscriber was active. Now, we have these little notifications right here, uh, making sure that you are uh, aware that you can either send promotional content or not. If a subscriber is inactive, we notify you for this as well. And this is when you actually need to try and reactivate them again. But outside the 24 period, you're not allowed to actually send promotional content. Um, this is where you actually, uh, these settings come into place, the policy settings. Uh, this uh, pops open uh, this window right here. You can actually set the type of the messages you are sending with the live chat. Now you can actually set it to promotional, non-promotional, or use it as a one-time notification. Really, really cool stuff. Right now, let me just close this up. There we go. And um, we can actually close chats as well. So let me just close uh, this chat right here by clicking on the cross button. Uh, and now I can navigate to the close tab right here to see all my closed chats. Really cool, right? And if I would like to search for a specific chat, then I simply search right here in the search bar. Very cool stuff. So let me just open up this right here. Um, the right side kind of looks familiar if you have already seen the audience page video, the overview video that is, or the audience page video. It's the exact same column that actually shows the subscriber name, the PSID, the um, gender, the language they've set up inside Facebook. And you can actually add tags, see their tags, and add custom fields, see their custom fields, and their entry point. Now, all I need to do in order to start chatting with this subscriber, I can actually say hello right there. There we go, just hit enter and the message is sent. Now what's cool is that I can actually send emoji right here as well. Uh, use any of the personalization tags or custom fields or send a message, uh, a flow if you will, or a single message that have has been earlier constructed uh, using the flow composer. Very, very cool stuff. And uh, yeah, that's basically live chat in a nutshell for you.